My name is Dan Alon. I live in Tel Aviv. I was born in Tel Aviv, 1945, just three years before Israel became an independent state. My father was a fencer. He came from Europe before the Second World War. And he was my first coach in fencing since zero age. And I reached the Olympics when I was 27 years old. The peace of what is what have been called the Serene Olympics was shattered. On the morning of September 5th, 1972, a Palestinian terrorist group, Black September, stormed the Olympic compound, taking 11 members of the Israeli Olympic team hostage. The games stopped. I woke up when I heard a lot of noise and explosions and shouting. That moment, the two marksmen went into our room, from the room next to us. And they told us, look, we have a problem, we have a problem, come look. So I went to their room, so I went to the window, and I opened the curtains a bit, and I looked down the pavement, and I saw Moni Weinberg, the wrestler, He's lying there and bleeding. And next to him was standing a guy with a white big hat with a Kalachnikov in his hand and another hand and hand grenade. So I came back to my room and I crawled outside the balcony because we had a balcony facing the garden. And to see what's happening on the balcony next to us from apartment number one. So I looked carefully and I saw on the balcony another guy, a terrorist with a mask and a Kalachnikov, and he's guarding the, the garden. So now we knew that we are surrounded by terrorists. So what are you going to do? We decided that we will, in spite of everything, run out from the room facing the garden, one by one. So we went down the steps, and the steps was also some problem, because there were spiral wooden steps, and they, they made a lot of noise. And if you made a lot of noise by going down the steps, the guy who is standing behind the door, very close to the steps, immediately will come in. So it took us about 20 minutes to go down those steps, the fifth of us. I put my training suit, at least to die as an Israeli. And Yudha Weinstein was the first one to run. When my turn was, I jumped out on the balcony to the grass and I fell. And I'm a very curious guy, so I turn around and I want to see if the guy is still there. And I was looking at him, he was watching me also with the Kalachnikov. We were staying for a few seconds, but he didn't shoot, so I turned around and I ran to the police. And so did all the others. After a day of failed negotiations, a rescue mission was attempted. A squad of German police dressed as athletes tried to enter the compound, all while the world watched on TV. The terrorists were watching too. The rescue was aborted. After more negotiations, the Germans agreed to let the terrorists take the hostages to the airport as trade for safe passage to an Arab country. The German police hoped to ambush the terrorists at the airport. At the last minute, the mission was aborted, but in retreating, the Germans tipped off the terrorists. Chaos set in. The world sat waiting. They have now said that there were 11 hostages. Two were killed in their rooms yesterday morning. Nine were killed at the airport tonight. They're all gone.
as we remember these tragic events and the fallen athletes, their legacy challenges us to live up to our highest purpose. As athletes, artists, and Jews alike, you are not just remembering history. This week, you are a part of history. For me, Maccabi Games is more important than the Olympic Games. Much more interesting, much more for the Jewish people. It's fantastic. It's united. It's, the Jews are united in this moment. I came to Berlin for a speak, speech. And uh, for one night. And the next morning I went back to Tel Aviv. On the way to the airport, I asked the rabbi, Chabad, to take me to Brandenburg Gate. So when we arrived there to Brandenburg Gate, I told him to put the song Am Israel High. And we went outside the car. It was a, a loud volume, the song. We looked if there were no police in the area before. And we were singing and dancing in front of this gate, Am Israel High. And I felt so good, really. It's just a big inspiration that six million Jews and 11 athletes are singing and dancing with me, Am Israel High.